VP1000 Vane and Rotor Service and Replacement Guide. First, disconnect the vapor piping connected to the in and out ports of the VP1000 cover assembly. Remove the four Allen screws and lock washers that secure the pump cover assembly to the pump housing and remove the cover carefully. Carefully turn the rotor assembly by hand until the shaft key notch is at a 12 o'clock position. Remove the rotor and vanes and shaft key from the pump housing. Rotate the shaft by hand. If the shaft does not rotate freely, the entire vacuum pump needs to be replaced. Also remove the o-ring. If the rotor and vanes are cracked, chipped, excessively worn, or excessively dirty, the rotor and vanes should be replaced because cleaning will not remedy these conditions. If there is no Visible damage, use a lint-free cloth with isopropyl alcohol to clean the rotor and veins. Using a lint-free cloth with isopropyl alcohol, thoroughly clean the inside of the pump ring and rear of the pump cavity, the rotor shaft, and inside of the pump cover. Reposition the shafts so that the shaft key notch is in a 12 o'clock position. Install the cleaned, original, or new shaft key into the shaft. Lightly lubricate and install the new o-ring for the pump housing. Carefully install the cleaned original or new rotor onto the shaft followed by the cleaned original or new veins into the rotor. Install the pump cover using the four Allen head screws and lock washers removed in step three and cross tighten. Reconnect the vapor piping to the in and out ports of the pump cover assembly that was removed in step two. Reapply power and test for normal operation. Follow step B3 on the AB form. The following examples show the water column gauge dropping, indicating a leak in the vapor line. If this occurs, tighten the vapor fittings and any other loose connections and test again. The vapor line should hold between 60 and 80 inches of water column without losing more than 4 inches of water column in 60 seconds.